New at 6, former President Donald Trump will be arraigned tomorrow on four federal election charges. Some Missouri Republican leaders are reacting to the new indictments, others are not. Joe McLean is in Jefferson City and has our report. On Tuesday, a 45-page indictment against former President Donald Trump was unsealed. This one tied to his alleged weeks-long plot to hold on to power despite losing the 2020 presidential election. The first indictment was made public in June and was connected to Trump's alleged retention of highly classified material and his effort to conceal it from the U.S. government. After that first indictment, Governor Mike Parson, Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft, and the state's Republican Party organization all posted condemnations of the filing on social media, but none of them have yet made a public statement about this latest one. Lieutenant Governor Mike Kehoe, Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey, and his two predecessors, U.S. Senators Josh Hawley and Eric Schmidt, all blasted the Justice Department over both federal indictments, saying they were politically motivated. Meanwhile, State Auditor Scott Fitzpatrick and State Treasurer Vivek Malik haven't publicly commented on either indictment. Lowell Pearson is a public policy attorney who's worked election cases for years and is not affiliated with this case. This indictment is significant and largely unprecedented because it puts at issue the behavior of the sitting president. Pearson said the new indictment is very different from the others in both the alleged crimes and the legal implications. It does put at issue uh, free speech and the right of candidates to uh, investigate and contest election results in a way that the first indictment over the handling of documents did not. The grand jury returned a total of four charges against Trump in Tuesday's indictment, one for conspiracy to defraud the United States, two related to efforts to block certification of the election, and one for conspiracy to violate civil rights. In Jefferson City, Joe McLean, KY3 News.